Yes, that is correct, Supira. The idea of Africans working together to forge a common identity was achieved, but the cost was high. So many of those who were elected to protect the interests of the people were so compromised by foreign and personal interests they would not lift a finger to help their own. So long as they were comfortable, that was enough. Okay, what other thoughts do you have about Azania? Is there anything unique about the legal framework, for example? Uh, the Ubuntu protocol? <laughs> Care to elaborate, Ama? Sure. The Ubuntu protocol is a directive that states that no citizen of Azania may take another human life. This extends to the armed forces of Azania. That is the letter of the law, but what about its spirit, its intention? Intention was directed at the fact that historically the actions in various quarters of the world carried the message that lives of Africans and Africans in the diaspora mattered less than other population groups. It's a stake in the ground that states that human life is precious and we should treat it as such.
the advent of Azania, human life was rapidly being reduced to a commodity, something easily created and discarded just as easily. Azania is diametrically opposed to this way of thinking. Our belief in the common good and the recognition of the divine in us stays our hand at this critical moment. In doing this, we remember our duty to humanity, to seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with Munguetu.